In this Make Money Online tutorial, I will show you several ways to generate passive income using cryptocurrencies. We all know that we can make some passive income earnings through affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, dividends, YouTube and so on, but most of you don't know that you can earn extra income using cryptocurrencies. Hello friends, welcome to the new video on the Passive Income Academy channel. My name is Boris, welcome to my channel where you can expect weekly videos on passive income methods and making money online strategies. We'll talk about affiliate marketing, drop shipping, drop servicing, CPA marketing, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, forex trading and investing in index funds and shares of companies. If this is the content you are interested in, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are soon introducing a membership option where you will have the opportunity to get access to our private stock portfolio, but more about it in the upcoming videos. Today we are talking about interesting ways to earn extra money using cryptocurrencies. The first way to earn passive income using cryptocurrencies is to open a crypto savings account. What does opening a crypto savings account mean? It's an interest bearing account. Just as you can go to a bank and put money in a savings account, so you can go to well known cryptocurrency exchanges and leave your money deposit in a certain cryptocurrency and get interest on that amount. Now you're probably wondering what that interest rate is. Believe it or not, it's, it's much higher and better than the savings interest rates that bank give you when you leave money with them. For example, Block5 gives a 4.5% interest rate on Bitcoin, 5% on Ethereum and 8.75% on USDC. Celsius offers 6.2% on Bitcoin, 5.35% on Ethereum and 8.5% on USDC. Voyager gives 5.75% on Bitcoin. 4.6% on Ethereum and even 9% on USDC. Since we have an open account in Binance, where we started the crypto challenge for 2022, we will open a savings account there in the future. The concept is the same as with the bank, but the money you can earn is drastically different. A logical question follows. How is it possible to offer such high savings interest rates? The answer is really simple. They will ask you for a certain amount of money, pay you a decent interest rate, let's say say 5% and then they will lend the same money to an investor at the interest rate of 8% and earn 3%, 3% difference. As you have noticed through these exchanges, stable coins offer the highest interest rate because they have a one-to-one -one ratio when compared to the US dollar and because they are riskier. There is a chance that it can go down and all your money will disappear. There is certainly a chance that the whole cryptocurrency market will fail and you will lose money. For me personally, this is a risk I took and accept, but with risk comes the reward. When you look at it, they offer you to put your money on the platform and get between 2 and 14% annual interest rate and then do nothing. Most platforms are secure and although this is a great way to earn passive income, there is always a risk. It's up to you to accept it or not and to see what percentage of your money are you willing to invest in a crypto savings account and which, even if something, is, if something bad happens, will not damage your budget and further life. Another way to earn passive income using cryptocurrencies is staking. Before we explain the method, it's important to emphasize that in the world of cryptocurrency, transactions are processed in two ways – proof of work and proof of stake. Proof of work relies on the power of computers to solve complex algorithmic problems, which will reward you with a particular cryptocurrency. These are mostly well-known crypto mining strategies that you have seen on the internet or on TV. The biggest problem of proof of work is the consumption of electricity and it takes too much money to get started and algorithms are getting harder and harder and it takes more and more time to solve them. That is why it leads us to another solution for passive income and that would be proof of stake. What is a proof of stake? Proof of stake is a cryptocurrency consensus mechanism for processing transactions and creating new blocks in the blockchain. The consensus mechanism is a method for validating entries in a distributed database and keeping the database secure. Since crypto transactions must be validated and since there is no central authority to monitor transactions, there must be checks and balances to determine that everything is working properly. Users can invest their cryptocurrencies at 
collect rewards without having to mine cryptocurrencies and consume electricity. By doing this, transactions are validated by people who buy cryptocurrencies online. The amount of money you invest is proportional to the number of votes you have on the blockchain. If everyone votes to the the transaction is valid, everyone who invested money will receive a reward. In translation, the more money you invest, the better your chances of getting more validation transactions. You can join the so-called staking pools with the help of which you will strengthen your forces and share prizes together after the validation of transactions. The easiest way to get started is to check in at the, at the exchange offices like Coinbase, FTX, Binance and many others. Compare the conditions at all exchange offices, choose the one that gives you the best conditions and then just follow their instructions. The third way to earn passive income using cryptocurrencies is lending. With this business model you will lend your cryptocurrencies to someone and they will return it to you increased by the interest rate for the agreed period of time. Unlike other loans that are uncertain, cryptocurrency lending is a different story. In case I want to borrow $10,000 from you, I would have to lock up $10,000 in Bitcoin first in case I don't fulfill the agreement and if I don't return your money, you'll get my Bitcoin. These smart contracts are great because the blockchain takes care of all the conditions for us so the process is completely automatic and you will never have to chase and follow someone when it comes to land and money and interest payments. One of the most well known platform for this type of business is AVI which connects both parties and pays the borrower an interest rate in its cryptocurrency value. If you don't like the lending option, we move on to the fourth way, which is liquidity. Although this expression seems complicated to you, trust me, it's not. The bottom line is that there is never an equal number of those who buy and those who sell cryptocurrencies at a given time at a certain price. In order for people not to wait for a certain buyer of their cryptocurrency to appear, liquidity pools were created. Understand this as follows. Let's say you do the following crypto pair, Shiba Inu and Ethereum for $500 on the same platform. This way you will allow investors to easily exchange their cryptocurrency between pairs and in return you will receive a reward fee for each transaction. The risk side of this business model is that if you put $500 of Ethereum in a liquidity pool and then the Ethereum jumps 3 times higher, if you just held and stored Ethereum you would have $1500. The opposite side is also true when some of the currency pairs weaken. Through sites like Uniswap and QuickSwap you can earn liquidity fields passively. However, as the number of users doing this grows, so will your potential earnings. The last idea for today is passive income renting NFTs. For example, the renft.io website offers an option where one person can rent their NFT to another person for a certain period of time and when that period expires, the person who rented the NFT, the NFT is returned. Now you must be wondering why someone would rent NFT. So just as people in the world rent Rolexes, Lamborghinis and other expensive cars and homes for some special events, so in the digital world people want to rent NFT to show their social status or if a game requires ownership of a certain NFT item, it's easier to rent it than to buy that NFT item. Some of my conclusion from all the strategies we mentioned today is that all options are worth exploring, but in my opinion the best option is first option. Certainly nothing is risk free and you should always do your own research before making any financial decision. But these were my few ways you can make passive income using cryptocurrencies without trading them. That would be all for this amazing video. In the upcoming videos we will talk about new different ways and strategies to make money online working from your home. Thanks everyone who watched this video. This is the beginning of an interesting and exciting adventure. If you want to be a part of it be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash the like button. Because that way we will reach more people and help the YouTube algorithm to rank our video. Also make sure to turn on the notification bell because that way I can send you a notification every time I upload a brand new awesome strategy like this one so you won't miss out. Make sure to follow us on Instagram because once we reach 1000 followers I will be giving away $100 PayPal giveaway money. Until the next video, big greetings from our YouTube channel. Cheers!